So here we have got a question which was asked in the IOQM last year. So let's do this one. So let's make it figure according to the question. So we have got a trapezium ABCD. Internal bisector of angle A you're making. So you see this is the bisector. Let's suppose this angle is X. So this is also X over X. So let's make the circle in triangle ABE. You have got a circle inscribed in it like this. These are two tangents. BM and BP. So can I say that they are equal to Z only? Because the lengths of tangents drawn from an external point to a circle are equal. So what can I say using the converse of the basic proportionality theorem? Can I not say over here that MP is parallel to AE over here? I hope this is clear up till here guys. So here we have got a question which was asked in the IOQM last year. So let's do this one. So let's first make the figure according to the given question. It is given that we have got a trapezoid ABCD. I mean, that is the trapezium ABCD. The internal bisector of angle A intersects the base BC over here. So let's make the figure according to the question. So we have got a trapezium ABCD in which the internal bisector of angle A. So suppose this is angle A over here. So ABCD, right? A, B, C, D over here, internal bisector of angle A you are making and it is intersect the base B, C at the point E, base B, C at the point E over here, right? So you see this is the bisector, let's suppose this angle is X, so this is also X over here. So as to make it simpler. Now inscribed in the triangle A, B, E is a circle. So let's make the circle in triangle A, B, E, you have got a circle inscribed in it like this. Correct. Touching the sides AB at M and side BE at point P. So it is touching AB at point M and BE at point P over here. Correct. BE at point P. Now we have to find the value of angle DAE. Basically, we have to find the value of X only. If AB is to MP is 2, AB is to MP, we have to take MP as well. AB is to MP that is equal to 2. Now let us do some more assumptions so as to make it simpler. If I say uh, MP to be Y over here, can I not say that AB over here will be 2Y guys so as to make it simpler. So this will be 2Y over here. I hope it is clear up till here guys. Now let's do further simplifications uh, according to the given question. Okay. Now over here guys, these are two tangents. BM and BP. So can I say that they are equal to Z only because the lengths of tangents drawn from an external point to a circle are equal. I hope that is clear. Now you see one more thing is there. This is a trapezium. So this is parallel to this guys. So if this angle is X, this will also be X alternate interior angles. Now over here, if you see in triangle ABE, in the triangle ABE, can I not say that AB is equal to BE because the uh, sides opposite to equal angles of a triangle are equal. These are X and X each. You see this is X. This is also X. I hope this is clear. So if this thing is 2Y, this side over here will also be 2Y. I hope this thing is clear up till here. So can I not say that PE over here will be 2Y minus Z. Correct. Now again the same logic, lengths of tangents drawn from an external point to a circle are equal. So can I not say that this thing will be 2y minus z. In the same manner you see this is also 2y minus z. I am sorry that it is becoming complex. So this is 2y minus z because this total is 2y and this is z. So therefore am over here is 2y minus z. In the same manner can I not say that this is equal to 2y minus z. We are talking about side over here. Suppose I'm writing uh, r over here so that it is not confusing. So basically I'm saying that ar over here, so that is er over here and they both are equal to 2y minus z. I hope this situation is clear to everybody. Now you see over here, if I see in this triangle ABE, if I talk about triangle ABE over here, ABE, in this triangle, I am seeing that BM upon 
M A. You see B M upon M A. What is that equal to? You see that is B P upon P E only. B P upon P E and that is equal to Z upon 2Y minus Z. You see over here. So what can I say using the converse of the basic proportionality theorem? Can I not say over here that MP is parallel to AE over here? I hope this is clear up till here guys. MP will come out to be parallel to AE. I hope the situation is clear. So basically can I not say over here guys that if this thing is X, this will also be X corresponding angles. This is also X over here because we have proved MP to be parallel to AE. So therefore, if this angle is X, this is also X corresponding angles. Up till here, I hope it is clear. Now one more thing in this situation guys, you will be able to understand it properly. Can I not say that triangle BMP, triangle BMP is similar to triangle BAE, BAE, very simple guys, isn't it AA similarity criterion over here? Because you see this angle is equal to this angle and this angle is also equal to this angle, right? Because we have already proved MP to be parallel to AE. So we can use AA similarity criterion. Now you know that ratio of corresponding sides of two similar triangles are equal. So over here, can I not say guys that uh, you can see MP divided by AE that is equal to that is equal to I can say BM upon BA. I can say that it is BM upon BA over here. Now you see over here what is MP guys? MP is nothing but Y divided by what is AE. AE is this total guys. This total. So basically it is 2Y minus Z plus 2Y minus Z. So can I not say it is 4Y minus 2Z? I can say over there and that is equal to BM upon BA. Now what is BM over here guys? BM is nothing but Z over here. You see Z and BA is 2Y. So that is Z upon 2Y. So let's put over here Z upon 2Y. Now let's simplify this expression. Can we cross multiply over here guys? So we are going to get 2Y square that is equal to 4YZ minus 2Z square. Now I can uh, divide on both these sides by 2 guys. So we are going to get y square that is equal to 2yz minus z square over here. I hope this is clear. Now let's further simplify. Let's take these things on the left hand side of the equation. So basically we will get y square plus z square minus 2yz that is equal to 0 over here. So you see this is just a direct identity right so i can say it is nothing but y minus z the whole square and that is equal to zero now you see there is no other possibility over here but to take y minus z is equal to zero itself so can i not say over here that y will be equal to z so we have got y is equal to z what does it mean if you see this triangle a uh, sorry, MBP. In this triangle, we have proved Y is equal to Z. So you see Y, Z over here and Z over here. So what does it mean? The triangle MBP becomes an equilateral triangle. This becomes an equilateral triangle because we have proved all these sides to be equal. So you know that each angle in an equilateral triangle is 60 degrees. So I can say over here that angle X is equal to 60 degrees. And this was X, so this is also X and we have to find DAE over here. So therefore, we can say that angle DAE, according to this question, angle DAE will be equal to 60 degrees. And that is the answer to this question. I hope this is clear to every student watching this video.